Alright, so let's bring the gamma down a bit. But like, you know, higher than it was. Oh, wait, before he gets killed, just steal that cup right in front of his nose. No, it's it's too late. These creeps are gonna lead me right back to whoever sent them to kill me. But only if I can tail them without them noticing me. I wonder if that's an actual sound that is made in game when he tries to pick something up. <laughs> you think that would make it difficult to be a thief? Oh, it would be, but that's why he's the best. Apparently. Yeah. It's just like Casio keyboard uh, sounds playing as he's like. That like, was not a things. quick save button. God. That is what it is, isn't it? It's just like a keyboard sound. Just the wind, I guess. Yep, that's what it was. The wind making footsteps sounds. Yep. Just the wind-making footstep sounds as we it's... leisurely Pooh Bear shuffle our way back to our headquarters after murdering someone in broad nightlight. You hear that? I'm trying to remember who actually sent the assassins to kill you. I want to say it's Baffert's <laughs> men. Great, we have to buy everything again now. No, you saved! You load, yeah, let's just load your save. Oh, I guess we could do that. We could be boring and do that. Yeah, that's boring. Loading saves. <laughs> <Yeah>. Continuing <laughs> progress. <laughs> Not doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, we don't want to skip all that juicy, dripping footage of you grabbing shit off of a counter, <laughs> picking up a crate, throwing it at a chair, standing around and losing the mission again. I mean, that was most of our Bethesda game seasons. That's most of a Bethesda game. That's what the people are here for. So, Moss, I... Moss, Arrows, Moss Arrows would be the solution here. Yeah, well, I can't bring up my damn bow. Are you crouching? Yeah, yeah, you can. Why, why can't you bring up your bow? I don't know how to fucking do it! It doesn't like seem to want to do it, button? so... Nope, not doing it. Where do these guys go? God damn it! This is your fault, Chris. <laughs> My favorite thing is that our save is 48 seconds into the level, and we can't get further <laughs> than that. So ready your moss arrow, just so so that when they cross the Rubicon, you can fire that off. God, it's not it's killing me. Bo is not coming out for this. Did you unbind left click? Did you unbind attack? No, I can I can do it with my sword. Fuck you, air. Okay, then just walk really slowly. Walk. <laughs> Unfortunately, Josh, unbound, walk slowly. Damn. Do they go this way? This Fucking... Their trail. God damn it. <laughs> Man, Garrett's bad How did this. you play video games in the 90s, Josh? <laughs> well, I didn't play this one in the 90s, I'll tell you that. Maybe they stole my bow. Maybe Garrett's arms are just really tired from doing a thousand push-ups right before this level started. You don't need to use a bone arrow, you just throw it. Hey Josh, they heard something. Yeah, I they noticed that, Rudskarn. Thank you. At least they're not walking away at this point. Oh, they, they must have heard that lady, who's just totally okay with everything that's yeah, happening here. Yeah, she's just here. like, just firm jaw, eyes forward, no eye contact. That's how I like to live. She's a Shoot, day, day on, and how you stay out of trouble, that's what I say. See, this AirPods is the best kind in. of moment for Thief. And, and... <laughs> 
I love this tension. You're just you're cowering. <laughs> it's just it's like Oh, I lose now, I guess. Gotta trail the thugs, Josh. All you had to do was follow the damn train of thugs. Damn it, what's going on? That was funny. Look, I'm just saying, I think they should make more bridges out of wood in this universe. I'm just saying, you should be able to use the moss arrow, and I don't know what you did to your game, but for whatever reason, that's how you solved this problem. Didn't that you just you buy them in your, like, extra bonus shopping spree section of this episode? Yeah. Well, we have them. He just can't what pull happened? the arrow out. He, he, he literally can't pull the bow and arrow out. I don't understand. I don't either. I a few people have <laughs> found this glitch, but it seems to be a unicorn. I guess I lost their trail. It doesn't help that I have the game sound turned down so I can hear you guys, which is I can't hear the fucking footsteps half the time. Okay, um, try okay do we want to play a different level? Do we want to try a different level? We have the ability to skip the levels, and yeah, maybe, that's maybe how the level. season called Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. <laughs> Okay, wait, Josh. What what button are you hitting after you have your arrows ready? Uh, left click. Try right click. Nope. This guy on the internet seemed really confident, which I guess has never really led to good things, particularly for me. So. Okay. Uh, try restarting the mission. Try going to another mission. Let's let's not do this. This okay, is okay. Oh my torture. god, this sucks. This game is good. We just need someone who's willing to like play it stealthily and also figure out why the arrows aren't working. It's not my fucking fault that the bow isn't working. That is. I mean, probably true. not anyway. <laughs> probably not. Not in a way that you could prove. <laughs> No, you don't see me. What are you talking about? Oh, bitch. <sighs> Let's see if I if I can replay it from the start here. Yeah, we'll just we'll give it one good shot. Replay and try to pull your bow. That shot. No, that's not coming out. What? Maybe there's a control thing I'm missing here. Yeah, you did you did go into the controls a minute ago. I mean it's attack, it's mouse one. It should be it should be working. Unless there's a is there a ready bow button? Is it possible that something is wrong because we skipped to this mission? No, you, you used the bow in the last mission. I don't know what to tell you. Let's go to another level. Let's try different levels. I'm sure it was Garrett in the wing. Uh, should we go for the, the cutscene with the big enchilada reveal? Yeah, let's just uh, Big enchilada? To let's just have our dessert right now. We haven't even touched our dinner. In fact, we didn't even eat breakfast today, but let's just go have that. <sighs> Alright, fine. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. Once more, once more, once more, once more, once more unto the breach. Okay. Here we go. No, this this is good. This will be good. This is a I understand there's Mexican food in this one. No. Yes. Chris, yeah. Yeah, there's Mexican food. Danced we in joys and triumphs. With us, the woodsy lord danced the stringsy foolsy man. Rose the storms in shouty glee, and the darkness in fiery glooms, the fires in happy greed. So Danced we away and fed the sad stringsy man fool to their devourings for our thanks. Chris. On yes. your Patreon, what's the tier that I have to subscribe to to get you to do an entire video in that? Uh, 
if, if yes. people demand it, I will oblige the population. <laughs> Since you left us. Okay, so backstory is we've been working with a bunch of mysterious now people. In this remarkable momentum. It is past time for the balance to shift. Okay. That's pretty much it, actually. We're, we're being saved by the Keeper. Wait. The people we left in the beginning of the Just game that trained us to be super stealthy people. Not. Nor I trust will you this is giving me an incredibly good Keepers. first impression of the thief story so right here, you guys. Those things are, we'll waste a perfectly good rescue. The story is really good if you experience it in order and actually... Well, we could have done it. that instead of just jumping around through a bunch of levels nobody liked. Well, the main problem. Well, well, we wanted to show the, the game main problem off. is a yeah, a nobody likes them, and b they're very like the levels are very long, so we're kind of cognizant of the fact that like uh, there's nothing for sale. So did that guy just throw me a sword and leave? Yes, you the already keepers have basically sword. just rescued you. Okay. okay, so there's there's a big reveal that I guess has already happened at this point. Yeah, I think it's the mission concluding cutscene from the previous mission, so that's a little hard to get to. Yeah, so the the bottom line is you spend the whole game like just trying to stay away from all of this intrigue and stuff, and then it turns out that like sneaky sneaky, one of the big evil like weird gods was using you to steal shit. And you thought it was what? just like capitalism or he was a collector or whatever, but no, he's actually been using you for story. Garrett's least favorite thing. Who are these dudes? They're the woodsy folks, uh, transformed into lizardy people. Ah. Uh. So you can kind of see shades of American McGee's Alice in the like bio atmosphere of the chunky level here Th that's always been something of a looking glass stable because there's that and there's also all the many in the same engine in uh system shock 2 just for the record bow is not working still well i don't know what you did to your damn game josh i don't know i, I was able to you know use what? it when i did a test run with you this unofficial patch alt tabbing because we i think it was alt tabbing that oh, it's possible but I just relaunched the game. I haven't alt-tabbed it since then. Well, then I got nothing. Wow, that was the fastest I've ever seen anyone lose $50. Oh, wait! Hey! What, what'd you do? It what'd you do? What'd now. you do? Why, why does it... I, I held left-click. Yeah, you have to hold it. You uh, knock out the fire. fucking said anything about that! Well, That's now just... you're in trouble, because... You needed to knock out that fire. You needed to knock out one I of those I have an fires. idea. <laughs> Arrow Flynn, motherfuckers! I, okay, so I have to say that actually what Josh is doing here is not illegitimate. Taking chunky risks in this kind of stealth game is not always a bad thing. Like, often you want to kind of creep along... But sometimes it's best to kind of be bold for a little bit and, like, run it off or walk it off if you make a mistake, rather than just, like, kind of... I died to a spider. ...creep along inch by inch. Uh, not if you, you died to a spider. Can you can play this game extraordinarily conservatively, and it can become very not fun if that's the way you play. You need to be sort of pushing yourself towards your limits. Yeah, striking a balance. Which... I actually think that, like, Deus Ex is... That's one of the most fun ways to play the original Deus Ex, is kind of what I call aggressive stealth. Where it's like, you my sneak, but, like, you don't necessarily worry about fucking up. You just kind of deal with it when you do. Uh, I don't think you stole one. I did think I not pick up down. the water arrow? No, I don't think you did. I could have sworn I did. It's gone. Was that a Why one? Not get I one? thought you found a different one. I thought you found it. Oh, is it randomized? No, I, I just thought you found it downstairs. It's on the ramp. It's on the ramp uh, on the right hand side when you head down. That's a fire arrow? Or that's a water, water. arrow? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well. 
Well, we can, we, you can, you can still sneak by. Like Red Scarden was saying, there are ways you can get through this without, um, one hundred percent stealthing it. That yeah, guy's not a reptile. He's a praying mantis. Oh That's boy. Even better. Is it? Oh boy. <laughs> You start with almost no health here. She just got decked. So we're starting to reach the point of game design where this is no longer a compliment, but I will say that just like the WASD controls in this game felt pretty tight. Except they They're not wasp. bad. Yeah, but yeah, if you, you know were to change it to Wasid, there you go. Like the yeah the the first person mount, full mouse look modern control system is actually pretty like responsive and intuitive and like honestly, there's even a lot of modern games that I think lack something that this game and also games that are kind of at its level and above have. Which is the ability to move through a physical space without feeling like you've got a refrigerator box strapped around you. Hey, there you go, Josh. Another thing to point out, I think... Larson. Crap. Another thing to point out, I think, is how much... Um, these games really do expect you to take advantage of saves coming. Like, Iron Man runs are more of a personal choice back back now. Yeah, actually just video games in general. Like, once PC games got to the point where you could save anywhere, and that became, then that was like a normal thing, like that differentiated them from console games of the same era. Uh, I think that a lot of game developers kind of came to count on that and maybe use it as a crutch. But I will say that I definitely prefer to checkpoint saves when you want save scumming. It, oh, it did result good. in games that present you with, frankly, almost unfair challenges. But, I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this. Um, oh yeah, this is bad. Uh, woo! It, it allowed developers to present you with unfair challenges, but it also allowed them to um, not treat their games like something that you had to see every aspect of. Like part of the part of the problem with I think console era checkpoint based level design is that you lose these giant sprawling levels. And as much as I hate the biggest of these levels, which are just ungodly huge tunnels that you constantly What is this in, thing? Uh, don't let it fire lava at you. You'll die. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> the party train has arrived. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Garrett, do oh you like god. parades? Do we want to do a different level? Do we want to go to just a random... Quite that many people. Well, this is also one of the last levels of the game. Do we want to try one in the in the middle, especially now that the stupid arrow no, is We're not fucking again? changing the level for a third time in one recording session. Okay, okay, we can, we can just go with this one, and maybe we'll do another one later, but I'm, I'm interested to see how you approach this problem now that you've, you've seen a few different sides of it. But yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good point, Chris. I mean, one neglected issue of checkpoints is that if you have a checkpoint save system, you have to have the checkpoint as a location, not just as a save feature. I mean, I guess the alternative to that is like Resident Evil style typewriters where you save your game. Where, which are like locations in a sprawling level, but that requires a certain amount of like permanence. And again, doesn't allow for this kind of sprawling interconnected, uh -oh. like sprawling but linear level selections. Like sprawling I can't levels back up. in a linear order. Fucking. Alright, bye. Okay, so uh, here we go again. Okay, okay so what right you want to do, find find a place where you can actually hide. Like, find a place where you're not dragging more enemies into the train. And instead, just a place where you can hide. They see me! Me. Yes, they do. <laughs> they do indeed. Alright, that's that place. Why don't you just place. kill them with the fireball? 
Uh, I have very little health. They'll kill me in one hit. Hmm. Besides, you must never here, break the chain. Anyway, this is the vision for our woodsy lord, and this is what the future is going to be like. <laughs> did the spider kill me, or did I blow myself up with the you fire blew yourself arrow? Up. I can't really tell. You just blew yourself up with the fire arrow. <laughs> <laughs> On the plus side, we're seeing a lot of this level in a really efficient manner. Yeah. Just think of, don't think of this as bubbling. Think of this as reconnaissance. Shush is scouting out the level for the good run that's coming any minute now. It's about to MLG it.